But what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and a quick little update for you regarding the status of the iOS 9.2, 9.2.1, and 9.3 jailbreaks. So like usual, if I learn anything, I like to share with you guys in these videos to let you know what's going on status-wise, because it can be a pain waiting without any knowledge or news. So there have been a few little developments, not much crazy in the sense of a release date, but we have some little updates. And I wanted to settle your mind as to where you should be right now, because just recently, the Pangu jailbreak team did post on their official website a status update regarding iOS 9.2.1 security content. So basically on this website, it gives some details about the uh, security exploits that have been patched in iOS 9.2.1. And basically iOS 9.2 is unsafe to stay on because there's a huge kernel exploit. And what they said right here basically has been translated, but it is noteworthy that this loophole in iOS sandbox trigger and therefore in the app can directly attack the kernel and kernel code is executed to obtain permission we recommend the users upgrade to the latest versions as soon as possible and to avoid installation of unknown origin app so what does all of this mean basically pangu is telling everyone to upgrade to 9.2.1 is that correct well not really a lot of people seem to think that's the case and i got to tell you right now do not upgrade to 9.2.1 because of that what they're saying is they're basically discussing the security content you know pangu does other things besides just jailbreak development and all they're doing is talking about the security content of 9.2.1 like they said, it is more secure. It makes things a lot more difficult for people to access your device, such as through this kernel exploit that they've discovered. So basically for jailbreakers, regardless, stay on 9.2. It's only for people that don't care about a jailbreak, uh, that want to upgrade and be more safe, go ahead and do so to 9.2.1. And basically, Luca Tedesco is basically agreeing. He said, stay on 9.2 if you want a jailbreak. If you don't care about a jailbreak, go ahead and upgrade to 9.2.1. But if you do stay on 9.2, be sure not to trust or install any untrusted apps because that could be a future headache for you. But let me tell you something. He also did tweet that users basically on jailbroken 9.0.2 right now are no safer than on 9.2. There are still a ton of vulnerabilities such as RCEs, a dozen sandboxed kernel bugs like this one, uh, Pangu found in 9.2 and unsandboxed ones, so two of those. So basically, it's uh, same thing. If you're on 9.0.2, you're even more unsafe than you are on 9.2. But because we're smart, we're not gonna be installing uh, untrusted apps off of random places on the internet, we should be fine. I mean, just be careful what you install pretty much. So hopefully I could clear a little bit of that confusion up because uh, a lot of people seem to think that just because it came from Pangu, that you have to listen to them. But really, it's not for jailbreakers. As for uh, any other status from them, they have not made anything apparent, but it's good to know that they are still looking into this. They're working on it. Pangu and Taiji are actively developing 9.2, 9.2.1, possibly not confirmed jailbreaks. Basically, their jailbreak assistant teams have spoken and confirmed that. So the iOS 9.2 signing period is almost closed. If you guys are on 9.2.1, get back down to 9.2 right now. Within the next few days, Apple is gonna be closing that signing period, and with it, your jailbreak chances could go down the drain. So stay on 9.2 if you ever want to have a chance of running Cydia. Because what's the worst that can happen? The jailbreak gets released on 9.2.1. You can always go forward up to 9.2.1. You can't downgrade back to 9.2. I actually have a few devices set aside on 9.2 or 9.1. Basically, who knows? But I want to be prepared for this jailbreak. So guys, I'm telling you, stay on 9.2. In other news, Luca Tedesco posted another jailbreak related video of him running 9.3 jailbroken untethered. So he's made some developments on his version of the jailbreak as where he can boot the device jailbroken without the need of a computer. So I thought that was really cool, uh, though it isn't working fully 100% with jailbreak tweaks. So, you know, it's just boasting. But I gotta give him props, man. He's done something that a lot of people couldn't do themselves. So he's got a jailbreak running. Unfortunately, we won't ever be seeing it from him. And why is that? Well, he won't get any money just giving us the jailbreak. It's a very, very valuable exploit. All the time he put into it, it would be a waste for him as he sees it to just give it away to people for free. And uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe there are other motivations for it. But down the road, if he keeps on working on it, he could sell it to a higher bidder than us. 
which uh, we are bidding nothing. I've also had another question. What does iOS 9.3 mean for this upcoming jailbreak? The nice new features included in it are all cool and that, but has there been any word on what this means for the jailbreak? And unfortunately, no. A lot of people seem to think that when 9.3 is released, then we'll see a jailbreak. Well, we've been thinking that for every other firmware. That's not the case. You know, yeah, 9.3, nobody's spoken about it. Jailbreak developers, what we know for certain is that 9.2 is where the jailbreak will be. So 9.3 is unconfirmed. Really, it might make things a lot harder because it does have security exploits that have been patched. Now, on a darker note, Apple actually purchased LegbaCore security. So this is actually kind of out of nowhere. Usually Apple has in-house security experts, but in this case, they purchased this uh, company back in November. They just finalized it recently. And basically these guys specialize on vulnerabilities. So what this means is that for the average Average person using a device, this is good. These guys will help Apple reinforce iOS, make it as secure as ever. Unfortunately, for jailbreakers, what this could mean is still unknown at the moment, but we do know this company focuses on low end security exploits. The fact that Apple's hired them doesn't mean anything good at all for future versions of iOS being jailbroken. And who knows how soon this company can start working with Apple, maybe even as soon as iOS 10 will be seeing their work incorporated in iOS, making jailbreaking so much more difficult, man. We could really be living in the final days of jailbreaking, but really, who knows? So uh, I just thought this was a little bit of a moot point for iOS jailbreaking. It could be getting much more difficult from now on, thanks to this company and the acquisition. Now, a curious thing I decided to include, uh, what happened to the old jailbreaking teams? Everybody that used to work on the old jailbreaks back in the days, iOS 3, iOS 4, 5, everything in between, where are they at? So Geoha is working on his own self-driving car project. He was even acknowledged by Elon Musk, even if it was a negative acknowledgement. I hate snow, he's uh, on and off. Sometimes he'll post something interesting on Twitter, but he's studying mostly out of the scene. Winnow CM has actually been employed by Apple. I thought that was an interesting one. I mean, where else can you get the best than the people that actually exploit iOS itself? Ionic is working on jailbreaks, but just like this guy, Luca Tedesco, he doesn't have any plans to release them, even though he's proven in the past that he has working jailbreaks. And Muscle Nerd, last active, pretty much working on Apple Watch tweaks. He'd be uh, posting little, you know, emulators running on them, Safari, you know, little tiny things like that but he is active in his own way, just not actively in the jailbreak community. And of course, there's uh, the Taiji and Pangu jailbreak teams, which are the most active and have been giving us jailbreaks for the last few firmware versions. Hopefully they continue to do so. So uh, some good news, some bad news, still being worked on, still testing our patience. I'll keep you guys updated as far as I can because I only post these videos when there's actually something to share. Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for any news, any updates, or maybe even the jailbreak if it drops. Have a great day. Peace.